so I have the starter motor back out again because it's failed and it's, um, it's short circuited and uh, melted the solder and this is where it's disconnected and I can explain how that's short circuited when you start the engine it puts a bit of a twist on it and it's actually better this side so when it twists when it twists um, this positive side hits this negative side if there's a small amount of of room there in the factory they probably would have had a really nice clean solder on there but my solder was a bit blobby so what I should probably do is just put a bit of card around it or um, plastic that has a flap that goes in there and it prevents these two from shorting out so this one's not so blobby but it could have also short circuited as well but Corey's come to my rescue and he's going to be bringing me a starter motor okay so that's now reattached again but this time I'm going to put some sort of like plastic covering that has a little tongue that sits in between those two because that's where it's just very fine tolerances that they've got around these brushes see like there and there that's a positive and that's negative same thing again positive and negative so it's a bit too close so if I put some just for this one especially it might not miss now that I've I might miss now that I've done a bit better soldering job but I might put some plastic in between those in a, in a cylinder Oh, what's this? <laughs> ah, Corey just arrived and he gave me this starter motor. If I can get it out of this bag. Wow, it's pretty much the same, eh? It's even got the 12 on the side. But this one hasn't had it, had the 12 bashed with a hammer. <laughs> well, chuck that in tomorrow. Thank you very much, Corey. Well, you can see straight away this one here is my one here with the 12 bashed off. Look how carboned up it is. But that's actually not the reason why it was dying. It was because this whole section here actually twists with quite a bit of torque. And um, it was enough to get the terminals inside there uh, short circuiting. So I think it's probably a dumb idea how they're actually made with just two bolts. In fact, I've noticed on a lot of parts on Subarus, they use two bolts. I think they should use at least three. I mean, how are you going to lock something down with just two bolts? So we're going to stick this bad boy in there, cuz... Okay, let's start this piece. I couldn't help myself, I had to fucking put it in there. Okay, let's start it up with Cory Meisters. Start it, mate. In neutral? Yeah. Uh, oh, better. That's why I couldn't hear the fuel pump going. Okay. Let's go again. to turn over, whereas that, that was just like real energetic. Sweet, thank you very much Corey. You're awesome. <laughs>